the Lakers weren't giving anything up for free against the Detroit Pistons. Quite literally, actually. It took the Pistons until 625 remained in the entire game to shoot their first free throw. It was true in the figurative sense too. The Lakers actually play defense now. They fought and scrapped and ran back in transition, delighting their head coach who has been looking for this for more than a year. And on Tuesday night they kept it going for an entire game. The Lakers beat the Pistons 113-93 at Staples Center, improving to 3-4, while the Pistons fell to 5-3. It was the third time in seven games that the Lakers held an opponent under 100 points, and the first time they've done it in back-to-back -back games. The Lakers had seven players score in double figures, Brandon Ingram, Larry Nance Jr., Contavious Caldwell Pope, Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Julius Randle and Jordan Clarkson. In the first halves of their first three games, the Lakers gave up 53, 73 and 68 points. In those halves they were among the worst defensive teams in the league. Through that Lakers coach Luke Walton continued the mantra he repeated throughout last season. He said they would improve, eventually. He said he wouldn't give up on that. It didn't happen last season. The Lakers finished the year the worst defensive team in the NBA. They have been among the worst defensive teams in the league for four years straight, predating Walton's hiring last season. To fix it the Lakers added players who would commit to defense, veterans called Well Pope and Andrew Bogut, rookies Josh Hart and Kyle Kuzma. They taught their existing players, like Brandon Ingram and Jordan Clarkson, how to be better defenders. They even got it from their point guard in unexpected ways. A lot of young guys that are drafted as high as him aren't really concerned with that end of the floor, Walton said. And whether it's jumping into the ball handler or trying to fight over screens or bat challenges once he does get hit by screens, not giving up on plays. All the little things that come from playing on that end of the court, with effort, he's doing really well. It's beginning to pay off and make the days of defensive futility seem much further away than they actually are.